there. So today I'm going to be trying out the new strength recipe products from Curlsmith. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience. And on this channel, I use those 20 years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. So let's start with the shampoo. So I already shampooed and conditioned my hair today and I used the core strength shampoo and it did get my scalp feeling nice and clean, although it's actually kind of itchy right now and it wasn't itchy before I shampooed. So I'm kind of hoping that that goes away. I, if it doesn't, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see if I can get through the three days with it being itchy. But like I said, I'm hoping that goes away. But as for right now, it is kind of making my scalp a little bit on the itchy side. Other than that, I do feel like it kind of, that it did clean. The thing that I've noticed about the Curlsmith shampoos, because I also have the Vivid Tones uh, color shampoo and this one, and they both kind of left my hair feeling like it didn't feel dry or stripped and that's great, but it also felt like it had some sort of residue on it. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Um, I have to say that I don't reach for the Vivid Tones shampoo because of it. And I probably will not reach for this one a whole lot either because of both the scalp itch and then also because of that. So as of right now, this is where I'm sitting. Like I said, I will give it a shot and see if it goes away. I might even try it a second time and see if I still have that. Maybe my scalp is just extra sensitive right now or you know, maybe it's the allergies that's causing it because it's allergy season, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, I've already shampooed with this. The next up is the multitasking conditioner and I have used this as a leave-in a couple of times before and I absolutely love this as a leave-in. I love it almost as much as my favorite Curlsmith um, oil and cream leave-in. This is a great, great leave-in. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how it does as a rinse out conditioner, which is how I used it today. But as of right now, I really like the way that it is leaving my hair and it had really good slip when I was detangling in the shower. So for now, I am absolutely loving it as also a rinse out conditioner. And then the leave-in that I used just to help keep balance with all this protein was my favorite Curlsmith Oil and Cream Leave-In Conditioner. So then for my curl cream today, I will be using the Hold Me Softly Style Balm, which I have used multiple times before, and I have a couple of videos where I'm using this, but I wanted to use it to keep balance with all the protein today. And then following that will be the Shape Up Aqua Gel. So as you can see, I already have my hair section off and ready to start my brush styling technique with the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. I always put my curl creams in section by section. I do ear to ear, then around the middle, and then I do the top. And then I use a brush styling technique where I brush my hair out 90 degree angles from my head all the way up. I do have other videos where I show that. And since this is something that I have used multiple times before and in at least a couple of different videos, I'm going to skip past this part in the video and then come back when it's time to put in the aqua gel and do that. Um, but if you wanna see how I style my hair with creams, I'll go ahead and leave a card up here be um, so that you can go check that out. And then this was used and reviewed in my very first Curlsmith review video. So I will go ahead and put that also up in a card up here so you can check that out if you wanna see this in action and see the review. And now that my hair is nicely defined and styled, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Shape Up Aqua Gel. And I haven't looked at this yet, but I can tell just watching it in the bottle that it moves around like it's really watery, which makes me really happy because I love a good liquidy, watery, runny gel. It's just so easy to distribute over my defined and styled hair without disrupting all of the work that I just did. So that is one of the reasons why I absolutely love a liquidy gel. It just distributes so easily. So all I'm doing is running it over my hair, just kind of glazing it over. And I do kind of get the top a little bit because that's where I'm gonna have some frizz develop as per usual. And then after I've kind of run it over and gotten most of it out of my hands, I start scrunching it in the rest of the way. 
So now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair and then I'll be back to show you the results. And then as per usual, I will be showing you the results on day two and day three without refreshing so you can see exactly how long it holds up all on its own. And I'm back with my completely dried hair and I do have a little bit of a cast and then I'll give you a close up look. First of all, this cast is actually pretty darn good. It's not, it's not the crispiest cast I've ever felt, but it's it's a pretty decent cast. There are some spots where I don't feel a whole lot, but otherwise it does have a cast. And then here is what the frizz looks like. So a little bit of frizz, but pretty minimal. So I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I absolutely love when a gel gives me a cast. I don't have a problem with it. It scrunches out and then I have nice soft curls. And the cast allows me to get through the diffusing process with a minimal amount of frizz. So the sooner that cast sets, the less I have to worry about how frizzy my hair is gonna get as it's drying. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch out that crunch with my Verb Ghost Oil and I just do one pump and thoroughly get it all over my hands and smooth it over my hair making sure to get on at the top up here where I have flyaways and frizzies and all kinds of stuff sticking up along with some unruly gray hairs that occasionally pop up. So with the little bit that's left on my hands, I'm just gonna go ahead and start scrunching out this crunch. This is my hair all scrunched out and fluffed up. And as you can see, it caused a little bit of frizz to develop but not a whole lot and that's kind of the trade-off for getting the volume from the fluffing and breaking up the cast is there's a little bit more frizz. The frizz kind of does help give you a little bit of volume and for me that's a trade-off that I'm willing to make. I'd much rather have some volume to my head than really very defined stuck to my head curls and I've got some great defined shiny curls which I've become accustomed to with the Curl Smith products. Everything I've tried from them so far has given me just really great hair. Um, it's one of those brands that I know I can count on. The other one is Weedad, and that brand has never let me down ever. So this is another brand where pretty much every product that I've tried has been that way, minus the shampoos. The shampoos I'm iffy about. However, now that my hair is dry, I don't have the itchy scalp issue that I had right after I washed it. So I'm not sure what that was about, but it seems to be gone, so that's fine. But I still don't like the way my hair feels after I use Curl Smith shampoos, and I'm not sure what it is. It's kind of hard to describe, but it just feels, it feels like I've got some residue on my hair. And that's just not what I'm going for after I have shampooed my hair. I want my hair to feel clean so that I have a nice clean slate to start with when I go into my styling routine. But anyway, as far as the aqua gel goes, I am liking the results that I see so far. This does say that it has a hold factor of five, so kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, they're calling it a light hold, but I mean, if it's a factor of five, wouldn't that be like a medium hold because it's right in the middle, but I don't know. But we will definitely see what kind of hold it has and how well it lasts as I move through the next couple of days and check in with you and show you what my hair is doing. But I am definitely enjoying my wash day results with these beautiful, bouncy, nice to find shiny curls. So I am going to stop this right here for the day and I will be back tomorrow to show you my day two hair. So let's take a look at the day two hair. So I'll get up close so you can see the frizz. And as you can see, I definitely have a little bit more frizz. However, I don't think it's any worse than any other day two frizz that I have. And it's not much worse than what it was yesterday. I had a little bit yesterday too, but it wasn't that bad and it's not that bad today either. This is definitely doable for day two. And I still have really nice defined and clumped curls and I've got a lot of shine as per usual. So my curls are still looking pretty good and that's not surprising. 
Pearl Smith is, you know, excellent quality. I love a lot of their products. So I'm not surprised that everything is still looking really good on day two here and that my hair is feeling really good. It's really loving that protein because some of my lazier curls are tightening up a little bit. And I definitely want to reiterate here that using protein doesn't make your hair curlier than what it actually is. It just gives your hair the strength and structure that it needs so that it can curl to its fullest potential. Um, sometimes having too much moisture in the hair and not enough protein will cause it to just kind of get a little bit over conditioned and lazy and it won't pop up and curl as much. So adding a little bit of protein can certainly help with that. And that's the situation here. My hair is loving all of the protein that it's getting and that's making me really happy. And I haven't fluffed my hair up or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So that is my hair all fluffed up and it gave me a little bit more frizz, but nothing that's too horrible or a whole lot of. It's definitely manageable and um, tolerable for day two frizz, so not a big deal. And uh, my curls are still looking really good. I have a little bit more lift and volume to my hair after fluffing it up a little bit, which I also really love. And my hair feels really good and it's pretty. that's pretty typical with Curl Smith products, I always feel like my hair feels pretty good when I have those in my hair that they're ni my hair is nicely balanced. So I'm enjoying that. And then as far as the scent goes, Curl Smith products each have different kinds of scents based on the moisture recipe or the scalp recipe or the strength recipe. So this smells a lot like the other strength recipe products. If you've smelled that, it's kind of a berry kind of flavor. I don't know. I'm not sure how to describe it. And it is a little strong at first. Today, it's not bad at all. So the scent lingers a little bit, but it's not overpowering. And if it's anything like some of the other products, it'll probably linger into day three as well, but it won't be, again, it won't be overpowering because it's already not. So it'll just be a much lighter scent even tomorrow. But I will confirm this tomorrow when I check in with you guys. So I don't think there's anything more to say for today with day two here. This is what my hair is looking like and it is consistent with the results that I've seen from other Curl Smith products that it's just, you know, they're they're good results. I get good results with Curl Smith, just like I get good results with Weedad products. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today and then I will check in with you tomorrow and show you my day three hair. Let's take a look at my day three hair. So as you can see, I have quite a bit more frizz. I do still have some really nice defined and clumped curls. And for the most part, my curls are looking pretty good. I have a few that have gotten stretched out and smashed and aren't as curly as what they were. However, for the most part, I feel like this held my hair pretty well, especially since it's considered to be a light hold gel. So I do feel like it is a little bit lighter and that's okay because I do actually plan on mixing it with the uh, Curl Smith in shower style fixer. If you saw my video on cocktailing versus layering products, I spoke about how I was going to mix this gel with the in shower style fixer because that one is really strong hold, which I love, but it's a little bit thicker and I love how watery this is. I'm a watery gel kind of person and this has protein, the other one doesn't. And mixing the two together, I think is gonna give me exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm looking forward to trying this out with that, but even on its own, I feel like it's pretty good as far as hold goes. And I haven't fluffed this up, so let's go ahead and do that. So definitely a bit more volume after fluffing and Overall, I think my curls look pretty good. I don't feel like I would really have to refresh this and I don't think this looks too bad for day three hair. Um, maybe I might do something to tame down the frizz, but for the most part, I'm not too worried about it. I think it looks pretty good for day three. Um, I don't expect day three to be frizz free or have the most per perfect curls. And I do, like I said, feel like I still have some really nice curl definition and that my hair held up pretty well. And one of the things that I'm noticing with this is that my hair feels a little bit on the dry side and that might be because of all of the protein that's in there. So sometimes my hair feels a little bit like that when I have, as much as my hair likes protein, if I have a little bit too much, 
it does tend to feel a little bit dry, but it's not too bad. It's not absolutely horrible. And all I have to do is just mix that with a few more moisturizing ingredients and, or a few more moisturizing products, and that'll be fine. Like I said, I do plan on mixing this with the In Shower Style Fixer. I think that's going to be the perfect combination for what I'm looking for to be able to get that really hard hold that the In Shower Style Fixer gives and then to kind of help dilute it and make it a little bit more easy to distribute throughout my hair, mixing it with this. So I will have a nice balance of protein and moisture with mixing both of those. So I'm absolutely loving this gel and I really, really like the three-in-one multitasking conditioner and I do like it as a rinse out, but I also really love it as a leave-in. I almost like it as a leave-in a little bit more, but I'll probably play around with it and just use it however my hair feels like it needs it that day. So if it feels like I need to do more of a deep conditioning treatment or a rinse out, then I'll do that. Or if I feel like I wanna throw it in there for a leave-in conditioner, I'll do that. So that's the beauty of a product like that is being able to just decide how you want to do it. And it doesn't have to be the same decision each time. You can mix it up depending on what your hair is telling you that it needs. So I absolutely love the conditioner. I love the gel. Like I said, this is a little bit lighter hold, so if you're looking for a really, really strong hold, this probably isn't gonna be it, but I think for a lighter hold gel, it actually gave me some pretty darn good hold. And then as far as the shampoo goes, I'm still on the fence. I'll try it, but it's just, I don't know what it is. It's so hard to explain, but it's just the way that my hair feels after I use Curlsmith shampoos. And granted, I've only used two Curlsmith shampoos, so it's not like I can say that about every shampoo that they have, only the two that I've tried. But the two that I've tried do leave that weird kind of feeling on there. And it doesn't feel like it's build up y or anything like that, but it just feels, it feels weird. Like not conditioned, not build up, not dry or stripped. I have a hard time explaining what it feels like, but it it gives this kind of almost rubbery type texture to my hair on the outside after it's, after I've rinsed it off. Like it's just, and it's only when my hair is wet, like it doesn't feel like it when it's um, dry, but it's just, it's weird. I don't know. So I'm not giving up on them completely. I'll probably still play around with the shampoo and see um, what that is or what it does or why it's like that, if it always does that. Um, or if it's something that I really even need to be all that irritated with because my hair feels fine now. It's not, I don't feel it on there. It's just when it's wet that it feels kind of weird. So anyway, um, I can't say that I hate it, but it just is, I'm on the fence with it. So that's, that's where I stand with that. But otherwise, Curlsmith has some really great quality products. I absolutely love pretty much everything that I've tried for them, except for, like I said, the shampoos, which I'm on the fence about. But otherwise, everything else that I've tried, like their conditioners, their leave-in conditioners, they're just really good products. Their gels, absolutely. Their curl creams are amazing. I love, love the curl creams. So these new products from Curlsmith definitely lived up to the quality that Curlsmith has, and I am happy with like I said, both the conditioner and the gel and just on the fence about the shampoo, but that's okay. I don't have to like every single product from every single brand and I have plenty of other shampoos that play nice with the Curlsmith products and I tend to mix and match brands anyway, so that's not really too much of an issue. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. So if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell while you're at it so you know when I upload. And if you have any questions, comments, or if there's anything that you'd like to see, please go ahead and leave that down below in my comment section. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.